We're having a look at software now, more specifically the graphical user interface of software. You've often heard of things called GUI, and that means graphical user interface. So let's have a look and see what that actually means. So graphical user interface pretty much consists of icons. Icons, icons, icons. It's a very visual thing. An icon could be representative of a folder, a file, some sort of document, a program that you could launch, or even a shortcut to another program or file. So when we're looking at the GUI, the graphical user interface, you're going to come across things that are very, very common and consistent. Those things are toolbars and menus. Let's have a look here. As you can see, we have the first toolbar there. This is the Windows Notepad++ toolbar. And here you can see I have my various menu options up at the top, and I have a toolbar just underneath. So the words, we call that the menu. The icons, we call that the toolbar. Okay, this whole thing down here is a toolbar full of tools. Another program that I have, Fastone Image Viewer, very similar interface, menu at the top, tools on the toolbar underneath. The next two you will notice are slightly different, and these two are probably familiar to you as well. These are the ribbon, the ribbon interface of Microsoft Office products. In Windows and Microsoft Office products, you will find that they have this thing called the ribbon. Now, we don't call that the menu. These are actually called tabs, and you will click on a tab, and the toolbar underneath will change with lots and lots of groupings of, of toolbars. So it's actually called the ribbon. This is a ribbon. This whole area is called a ribbon. Here you can see here is a new one here. This is Office uh, Outlook. There it is there. And again, here are my tabs at the top and the ribbon with the various groupings of tools. Okay, so that's what we use to get around programs. Now, here we have a very common one as well. You're probably familiar with this. This is the Windows 10 menu. This is the menu system. When you click on that little Windows icon on the bottom left-hand side of your screen, up pops a menu. And you can then scroll up or down. You can open up folders and subfolders to see what programs or documents are available in the menu. Here we have another version of a menu, uh, and with the menu we can then click on an option in the menu and a whole drop-down or sub-menu appears. Another way of searching for something in a GUI with toolbars and menus is hitting the window key on your keyboard and just start typing. So for example, if I was looking for the Paint application, either Paint or Paint 3D, or if you have Paint.net, which is a very cool program, I would start typing Paint, and you can see that I actually started typing it in over there. And as I start typing, Windows starts searching for various relevant documents or shortcuts or applications for me. Navigation, getting around your operating system. Every computer has to give you some way of navigating through the system. Otherwise, you're stuck, okay, especially in a GUI, in a graphical user interface. So here you can see I've got a typical file explorer window. And on the left-hand side, I've got a quick access toolbar there. They call it a quick access toolbar. Actually, the quick access goes up there. There's a quick access menu and I've got um, this PC. So let's have a look and see what, what sort of navigation options do we have here. If I just zoom in a little bit there, you'll notice that next to each of these options, there is a little arrow. That arrow means that you can click on it and it will create a drop-down list, okay, or it'll expand that section. And you can see what is underneath that section. So that's one way of getting around. At the top of my File Explorer window, I've also got arrows, left, right, and then up at the moment, and there's a little down one there, another arrow, another arrow. Go ahead and open up a File Explorer window on your computer now. Have a look at where all these arrows are and what happens when you click on those arrows. So that's just to give you a good idea. So here you can see I am on this PC, a local disk C drive. That tells me where I am. I can click on an arrow, click on an arrow. I can go anywhere I want to within the system by simply clicking on one of those arrows. They will show me something. Here you can see, here's an example. I've gone to this PC, local disk, 
program files Internet Explorer. That's the path I follow to get to this folder. And now I'm inside the Internet Explorer folder. And you'll see now I clicked on this down arrow here, this little for options, and that shows me my history, where I've been, the previously used folders that I've been in. And I could just jump to any one of those. So that's another form of navigation in my operating system. Now, here is something quite important that you do need to familiarize yourselves with, and this is called form and interface elements. I'm going to show you. This is what we call a, a dialog box, okay? This is a dialog box because it gives us a whole lot of information. We have to then um, choose, and then we click OK. But let's have a look at some of the elements that we have in this dialog box. For example, we have the drop-down window, or a drop-down list, sorry, not a window, a drop-down list. And I've got alignment, outline levels. You'll see that it's got pointed down. It's got a little arrow pointing down. There it is. That's what's currently selected. If I click on that, it'll drop down a list of various options, and I can select what option I would like. Another one is called the spinner. It's called a spinner. It really is. But that's because you spin up or spin down with numbers. Okay, so here you can take your mouse and you can click on the little little up box there or little down one there and it will climb up or climb down depending on what you're clicking on. And that's called a spinner. That's normally used to select numbers or values that are in a list already. Having a look at this dialog box, this is the tab stops dialog box. Something I want to introduce you to here are what we call option buttons, okay? Option buttons. They used to be called radio buttons, but they're not called radio buttons anymore. They're called option buttons. The reason they're called this is because you'll see it's a circle. That one is currently selected. You can only select one of them. Only one of them can be selected at a time. You can't select more than one. Take some time, familiarize yourself with the operating system that you are working on play around, click on things, and see what they do. You need to understand how important it is to get around a computer system so that you can use it efficiently.